so ADI has sponsored MTech a few times uh, yeah. in the U.S., and this was the first time that we finally decided to kind of spread out a little bit and sponsor it in Asia. Um, MTech is essentially a talk or a series of talks about emerging technologies in different areas. So um, there's talks about biomedical, there's talks about uh, silicon technologies, there's talks about security, there's talks about space. There's talks about all different types of things. And the idea is that you've got some of the leaders in those areas to come and talk about either problems they have that need to be solved or areas where they're trying to solve a problem that is on the cutting edge. Um, where ADI participated in that is that we recently acquired a um, cybersecurity company named Cyprus. Uh, and they, um, their main focus is uh, cybersecurity. And uh, since the government is trying very hard to um, you know, build this IoT smart city, one of the key pieces of that is how do we make all that information secure? So um, our ADI speaker, a person named Doug Gardner, gave a really excellent speech on um, what's the, if you're a smart city, you know, what, what are the constraints you have to have from the IoT point of view to make sure that you've got secure communication between your sensors and uh, your, uh, your uh, hubs? Um, this is relevant because actually in Singapore, we recently had a problem where um, one uh, wireless provider was handing out free uh, routers to everyone. They turned out to be non-secured and they were attacked and they the brought down the entire network for this one uh, provider because of this very simple thing of giving out a free you know, piece of, of uh, instrumentation but not securing it very well. Wow. So the government really woke up to that and said, well, we have to be really careful about this because while we like monitoring and we like checking everything, if the data is not secure, we're just opening ourselves up to even bigger problems later. So, uh, so MTech was great. I think it was exciting. It was fantastic to be there. We made lots of interesting connections, both with government officials and, again, private officials who are doing um, incubators and startups. Um, long list of things I need to do after, <laughs> after that conference to follow up. But it was good to see ADI sort of stepping out a little bit of its normal uh, U.S.-based uh, support of these things, and I think um, it showed. I think we were well received there. A lot of folks really made an effort to come talk to us, uh, especially researchers who, who knew roughly what we did but didn't really understand. We had a presence here in Singapore or in Asia, so um, it opened up a lot of doors. And I think throughout this year, we'll be able to follow up on a lot of those things as well.